Okay, so we've got question 7. This is topic 2.2. It's on page 72. Uh, we have a ball of mass 0 0.1 kilograms is dropped from a height of 2 meters onto a hard surface. It rebounds to a height of 1.5 meters and is in contact with the surface for 0 0.05 seconds. Find the speed with which it strikes the ball and so forth. So obviously we, if we just draw a, a diagram, it's always useful to, to draw a diagram in, in this situation. You've got it, it starts off there. It says that it is dropped. So what is that drop telling you? That your initial velocity is equal to zero uh, meters per second. And it hits the, it hits the surface. And we, that's what we actually have to find firstly, the speed at which it strikes the surface. It then rebounds a certain height up, so it goes, and I'll do this in a different color, let's do red as the rebound, it goes to a certain height up um, of 1.5 meters, so this is 1.5 meters, and this is 2 meters down. Okay, so let's firstly do this part over here. Um, what do we have? Well, we have S is equal to 2 meters. We have our initial velocity is equal to 0 meters per second to negative 1. We have our V is what we want to find. It's falling under the influence of gravity, so let's use 10 meters per second to the minus 2. We don't know anything about the time, so we won't use a formula relating to that. Um, the formula that we can have use um, with this, uh, if I bring my formula booklet up here, um, we're going to use this one over here because we have we want to find that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. These two over here uh, require time uh, and so we, we don't use those. Remember we always I must remember we've got that formula also um, when we're doing these. Okay, so going back to my problem. Um, so we use our v squared is equal to u squared plus 2gs. Um, v squared is equal to, that's 0, 2 times 10 times 2. So we're going to get that is 40 is equal to v squared. v is equal to the square root of 40. And we can just do that on our calculators. Square root of 40. And we get V is equal to 6.32 meters per second to negative 1. Now, just checking, you see we've got two significant figures. So I should write this, therefore, as 6.3 meters per second to negative 1. So that's the first part. That's, uh, that's 1. Uh, looking at 2... We want to find the speed at which it leaves the surface. Now, it leaves the surface and rises to a height of 1.5. So we can actually use this 1.5 uh, to work out the initial speed. So we've got here our u is what we want to find. Um, and our, v, sorry, our, our u is what we want to find. We know that our final velocity is 0 meters per second at 1.5 up. So we would change this around. Uh, we can change these around here. Our g stays the same because it's still is equal to 10, uh, but s is equal to 1.5 meters. Our u is what we want to find, and that is equal to 0. So again, we can use exactly the same formula, this one over here, except now v is equal to 0. u squared is what we wanted to find, plus 2 times 10 times 1.5. So we're going to get u squared is equal to minus uh, 30. Well, um, well, let's. Uh, what am I got here? Let's. We're going in the other direction. So anyway, we're going to get u squared is equal to the square root of 30, and we'll have our plus or minus there. So I'm going to get uh, the square root of 30 and I get 5.47 
so u is equal to and I'm going to put minus 5.5 uh, this is equal to 5.477 plus minus the minuses I'm putting in that because we are going in the other direction it's important to, to show I'm taking my obviously my velocity coming down here as it hits there I'm taking that as positive and I'm taking this direction going up here as negative notice that I've got my g which acts down as positive okay so we've got the speed at which it leaves the surface uh, now we want to work out the change in momentum of the ball now you're gonna see here that having your minus value is very important in doing this alright so this was question two let me see if I can fit in question three over here the change in momentum is equal to mv minus mu uh, your final momentum minus your initial momentum so it's change in p is equal to um, the mass the mass of the ball is um, 0 0.1 times the velocity now that's your final velocity um, so that's this one over here because we we're looking at the change in momentum uh, when it's in contact with the surface so that's going to be negative 5.5 .5 minus uh, the mass is 0 0.1 times this over here the 6.3 and so you're going to get let's just do that on our calculators um, 0.1 times now I'm going to use my uh, full values I'm going to use more accurate values 6.324 uh, close brackets plus 0.1 times shift answer and I get a change in momentum of 1.2 when I do to two significant figures and this is kilogram meters per second to the negative one now it's very important to put you these minuses in here because what's actually happening here is that you're getting a change in velocity from your positive into your negative so there's actually a total change in momentum of 3.5 meters per second your change in velocity actually changes uh, that amount and so your corresponding change in momentum is more now the impulse given to the ball in contact with the surface the impulse is equal to the change in momentum so this is actually equal so your impulse which is F change in T is would therefore equal 1.2 kilogram meters per second to the negative one and the average force we would use we would use this formula over here would take the the force would equal 1.2 divided by 0 0.05 the time that it's in contact so we divide that divide by 0 0.05 and I get my force is equal to 23.6 23.6 newtons and I would write that as 24 newtons like that okay so there we have question 7. Thank you very much.